welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Liv and do not forget before you keep on watching this video to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking the Life's a Drag palette from Lunar Beauty, which is the uh, makeup line from Mini MUA. Um, I was kind of hesitant on buying this palette because I was, I'm tired of buying makeup collaborations from beauty influencers and I w actually didn't buy it the first time that it went on sale but then I saw so many looks with it and how pigmented the colors looked so I was like okay you know what I need to buy this palette and try it for myself so that's what I did and this is the first look that I've came up with using this palette I used one shade from the palette for a 4th of July look that I did but other than that like I haven't actually tried to blend the colors together or like do a look with the palette so this is my first time creating a look with the palette. This is what I came up with. I actually use a few products that I haven't used before in this video. So if you're interested on in seeing what those products were, how I liked them, and how the palette worked out for me and my thoughts on it, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. So for today's look, I'm gonna be taking the Life's a Drag palette from Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA's makeup line. And as you can see, it's got the nude shades on this side your foiled shadows and then your bright shades and then it comes with a little brush. So I'm going to be starting off with this yellow shade which is called Campy and I'm taking this shade just in the center of my lid with a Makeup Shack T46 and I'm just going to kind of pack that on into the crease but above the crease as well. Then I'm going to start to blend that up. Then I'm going to be taking the red shade in the palette, which is called Snatched. And then I'm going to focus this one more just in the actual crease. And I'm not going to bring this one up as much. Then I'm going to go back with the big brush that I used to apply the yellow and just blend that all out. So I was going to take the pink shade and place them in between the red and the yellow, but as you can see, after blending it kind of blended itself out together. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit more yellow on that bigger brush and then keep on blending. Then I'm going to take Pageant Queen, which is the purple shade of the palette. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe E22. And I'm just going to pack that onto the outside of the lid. Right in the outer corner. And then I'm just going to start slowly blending that into the red. Then I'm just going back with the brush I used for the red shade and I'm going to keep blending that all together. And I'm going to take a Morphe G20 and do a half cut crease. And right over where I place concealer, I'm going to be taking Legendary, which is like a gold foil shade. And I'm actually going to be just going in and tapping that on with my finger. I feel like foil shades go on a lot better and creamier when you use your finger. So I like to just go on with my finger and then I'm going to take a flat brush and go in where I can't reach because of my nails and fill it in. And then I'm just gonna go back and blend the purple into the gold. Wow. 
Then I'm just gonna be taking the white shade, which is Cake Face, and be placing a little bit of that on my brow bone. Then I'm gonna take the red shade and place it on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna take the yellow shade Campy and blend into that shade. So I'm first I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Primer and I just take like two pumps of that onto my fingers and then start right here and then spread it all out. And for foundation today, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Pour I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I'm just going to dump some onto my hand. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my Morphe sponge. And I really like this foundation for if you have your eyebrows done because you can literally just go over the top of your eyebrows and literally get closer than you could with like a round part of the sponge. And then I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and I'm going to be placing that underneath my eyes and a little on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and a little on my forehead. So I'm just taking that flat end and kind of blending out the concealer next to the eyeshadow. But I'm gonna go in with the brush and blend in the concealer with the lower lash line. So I'm going in with a Morphe Y17, which is kind of a little small fluffy dual fiber brush and I'm gonna be blending that together. Then I'm just gonna be taking the little eyeshadow brush that I use on the lower lash line and kind of blending it back together. Then I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I've actually never used this powder, so we're gonna see how this goes. But I'm gonna be placing this powder under my eyes and then after I do my contour to bake. And I'm just taking that and pressing that in with my sponge. Then I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just taking this powder all over the rest of my face. And I'm just gonna quickly go over my eyebrows and fix them really quickly. And I'm just gonna dust off that banana powder from underneath my eyes. I really like this powder actually. I like the color of it and it was really soft. I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and I'm gonna be taking the contour side to bronze my face. I'm gonna be taking that same contour shade to contour my nose. Then I'm going to be taking that same Makeup Revolution Banana Powder to clean up my contour. Then I'm going to be taking my Morphe and Bretman Rock uh, Highlighting Palette. I'm going to be taking this shade right here, Vacation. And I'm just using a fan brush to kind of apply this all over. I'm just applying some blush. Then I'm just gonna lock everything in and set it all with my MAC Fix Plus. <laughs> then I'm just 
Then I'm just gonna go over my highlight again really quickly. And this is a Makeup Shack T11. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara, apply some falsies, and then I'll be right back. So I just went ahead and applied my Glossier Lip Gloss. And then these are the box of the lashes that I use. They are the Eyelore Silk Lux Silk Silk Effect in Marquise. It's long. So this is what the box looks like. And then obviously this is what they look like. I really, really like them. They really remind me of Dubai from the Makeup Shack, which that's like my favorite pair of eyelashes from the Makeup Shack. So I think that's why I really, really like these. But yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not subscribed already so overall my total thoughts on the life to drag palette from lunar beauty um i really really do like it the packaging is really pretty the inside is really pretty there's a shade range of neutral to brights and you can do honestly i feel so many looks with this palette um, I've only used the palette one time, but I only use one color it's for my 4th of July look. Um, besides that, like I haven't really played with it, but I really, really like the look that I came up with today. I feel like the colors were super blendable, super pigmented. Um, the foiled, sh foiled shadows were really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the way that this look turned out, and I'm definitely going to be creating more looks with this palette. Um, but yeah, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. And thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye my loves!